What is going on guys? This is Ryan from Smart Home Solo and today we're taking a look at how to get your ring doorbell or other doorbells and things like that into actual HomeKit secure video. Um, I'll show you a demo right here. This is my doorbell in HomeKit secure video. Check it out. Uh, I'll show you how to set that up with scripted and what is scripted and how you install it right after this. Let's check it out. All right, guys, this is the GitHub for scripted. This is really not that hard to do. Uh, I was able to set it up on a VM and get it running really, really quickly. We're going to go through that process today and show you exactly what it is. Scripted is a home automation platform, primarily focusing on making camera experiences seamless. It supports HomeKit secure video, uh, Google Home, Google Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa. It does all of the different platforms. Um, there's a Discord you can join. There's installation notes, and we're going to go through those here in just a second. Yeah, guys, let's jump into it. Here's a list of everything supported currently. There's everything from Chromecast to Ecobee to FFMPG cameras. Um, we have Google stuff, we have HomeKit, we have Philips Hue, we have uh, Neato. We've got a lot just to uh, just to name a few. And if you find this video helpful, please make sure you check all the links in the description below to check to get all the information. Also, don't forget while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. Th toss me a like, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we're trying to grow the channel this year and I need people like you to go ahead and throw the subscribe down so we can actually grow the channel and do things that we want to do this year. So thanks in advance and I appreciate it. Okay, so um, there are both Docker and local installation options uh, and there are guides here. Let's open up this link here and scripted installation. Hardware and server setup. It can run on Linux, Mac, Windows, it can run through Debian like Raspberry Pi and Mac are the preferred hosts. Uh, for HomeKit, it's recommended to have a wired Apple TV home hub and not exactly wireless HomePods or iPads, which are can be somewhat unreliable uh, as they don't have a constant physical network connection. Um, use a wired connection for scripted server and all cameras. Scripted has uh, notable network traffic when using the rebroadcast plugin, which we're not going to use for a ring doorbell anyway. Um, consider disabling rebroadcast plugin on Wi-Fi cameras that have hardware motion detection. So we're going to, you can, uh, you can go through the recommended steps for Docker at this link here. There's actually a video. What we're going to do is look at uh, the local installation. This is the uh, installation for Linux, including the Raspberry Pi. I'm installing this in a Ubuntu VM right now for demonstration purposes. If you have a Raspberry Pi or you have a Mac, like a Mac Mini or an iMac or something that's uh, dedicated all the time, you can run that on there. There is a console that you can get once we have everything installed. And um, there is some uh, advanced user information down here below. Um, but basically Linux installation what you can do is copy and paste this script right here. Open up your terminal. Okay, so after you run the command, it will install. It'll take maybe a couple minutes here, but it's going to grab all the packages, all the things that you need while it's installing. And uh, it's going to just run through the script and it shouldn't give you many, many problems. That didn't really give me any issues or anything like that. So you just wait until your prompt comes back. Uh, to the regular, the regular prompt. Okay. Once that's installed, um, you can, it says you can start and stop and it gives you the commands here that you can start and stop it with. I'm just going to make sure it's started. It should be started now. Um, so just copy your start service command, paste it in. If you get any extra garbage at the beginning, just delete that. And uh, you may have to enter your password to start the service. Once it's started, you should be able to go back to your uh, page here and then click on the management console. 
Um, it's going to give you, it gave me a warning that I'm just going to accept the risk and continue because it's not, yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just a management console for scripted. So it doesn't detect it as a secure page and all that stuff. Um, so we're going to enter the username demo and then it will take you to your scripted dashboard. And this is what it looks like. So we've got a dashboard with no devices in it. Uh, we don't have any devices here. What we want to do is first head in here and go to install plugin. And you're going to type in home kit. And you want to install. Once the device has been added, you can change the name of your plugin if you would like. It'll give you a home kit code over here. I will be changing this, but this is for demonstration purposes. Um, there's some information here about different codec settings and things like that that could be appropriate for your camera. Um, H.264 video with AAC audio, 1920 by 1080. And then you just need to uh, enter your ring username and password to complete the setup. So that will be... Over here, you'll have an email address and a password box. You'll get a two-factor code if you have two-factor authentication installed or set up on your account. And then there might be an optional thing for a poll interval um, that you can set here if you need to. Okay, so now we are back on my working VM. Um, you can see my doorbell here. You can see if we go to plugins, um, we have different plugins installed here. We've got HomeKit, we've got Ring, and we've got the scripted core service, which has to be there. Looks like we actually have an update. So I'll have to check that out. If you're using HomeKit, you actually want to go in here to your HomeKit plugin that we installed and actually add it to HomeKit using the code that it will give you. And, um, so it will give you a code over on the right hand side. You can enter that in uh, to actually add that into HomeKit. Okay, so I am going to actually go over to the iPhone now. I'm going to start a recording so we can show you guys uh, all your settings and things like that in. So we can show you guys your settings and all that in HomeKit Secure Video. You can see my doorbell down here, my ring doorbell. It's actually in HomeKit Secure Video because you can see where there's different activity and stuff like that at the bottom. Uh, and then you can actually go live. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds to connect. It is a Wi-Fi camera. But if you tap at the top to go into your little settings button, uh, you can assign it to a room. You can see the accessories. Mine has a button on it for pressing. You can uh, tell that accessory what to do. Uh, you can set automations here. You can get notifications for activity, uh, status change notifications, notify when your camera goes offline, snapshots in the notifications, door no bell, no doorbell notifications, doorbell chime. You can set that to home pods if you'd like. And then you can have your different recording options. When I'm home, would you like to stream and allow recordings? When away, would you like to stream and allow, allow recordings? Do you want it off? Do you want to detect activity? you want to just stream uh what what do you want to do and then it has face recognition you can turn that on and play with that you can select activity zones and only get a uh, certain activity in certain zones and then camera status light and then you can see your bridge which is scripted all right guys so that is how easy it is to set up your doorbell or camera or whatever device it is you're trying to get into a home kit secure video uh, with scripted. I hope you found this video informational to you. If it did help you out, help me out with a like. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one on Smart Home Solo.